Hello friends, Laura here. Today I'm going to show you a Sunset Palette acrylic flip cup pour uh, with Australian Floetrol as a cell activator. Okay, so the first step after unpacking is to place painter's tape on the back. So the painter's tape prevents most of the excess paint from tracking underneath the canvas. So this is the front of the canvas, this is the back of the canvas, and we're just going to be putting that tape on the back side of this canvas. There's our final edge, just press it all down to make sure it's quite well bound, adhered. And next we're actually going to add these giant push pins. Okay, and there we have it, our uh, canvas is ready. Okay, so I've chosen out some colours uh, that I'm going to be mixing up with pouring medium and I'll just start with the yellow here. Right, so the next step is actually using pouring medium. Now I've made this up already. Uh, it's essentially 60% of a wall paint uh, from Bunnings and it's a neutral untinted wall paint, although it is actually partially white. 27% um, Australian Floetrol, 10% uh, of Jo Sonia's gloss varnish and about 3% of uh, GAC 800 medium. So this is my preferred pouring medium at the moment. Gives me a really nice consistency. So I'm just going to fill these up to about two thirds each. Should give me a good amount. You'll be able to see, hopefully, 
the consistency of these paints. Okay, so that is all of my colors and the next step is actually to take uh, my cup and I'm going to be layering this and I'm going to start with uh, a cell activator mixture. So this is essentially one part Amsterdam titanium white, four parts Australian Floetrol. It's your typical mixture. I just need to get a little bit of a swirl first. Uh, putting some of that into the base of this cup to start with. So just covering that base. And then I'm going to layer it. Now this is one of the tricky parts of this process is deciding, deciding how to actually layer these colors. And I've got a sequence of colors that should work quite well together. I just don't really want to have these two colors, uh, the yellow and the purple matter right next to each other. So I'll try and avoid that by using the white and the gold as well. So I'm going to put some of this purple matter in first, followed by a bit of gold. And I'm going to do a little bit of layering uh, to add some more of that cell activator because I like a really kind of layered and fairly thin effect with my paintings. It, some of the bubbles have actually risen to the surface so before I get started I'm actually going to get my heat gun uh, and just pop some of those bubbles because the fewer bubbles that I can actually have during this process the better okay so I'm just going to do a simple flip cup you can see we've got some beautiful cells coming out here already leave that for a few seconds and then pull it out so we did end up with just a little bit of mixing there between that uh, burgundy kind of purple matter color and the yellow so that's just a little bit complicated in there getting too close to this edge now so I'm just going to pull it down a little bit and what I'm doing down here is actually just trying to get the rest of the paint out of the cup but particularly in the corners okay so the heat gun is going to pop some of those bubbles okay now we need to tilt a little bit
Okay, see how this is actually sliding across that underlying paint rather than falling underneath it? You do tend to lose a bit of the edges though. Okay, beautiful. Now that I've got that, I'm just going to bring some of that paint back into the center, pop it back on this turntable, make sure the turntable is somewhat centered. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a spin. Okay, that's fairly gentle spin, but you'll note some's uh, coming off the edges. I'm going to stick my hand underneath there. I still need to get it off these two edges, and there's some in these corners already. So I want to be a little bit faster. And I seem to have missed this corner down on this side, so I'm just going to gently tip some of the paint down in that edge, that corner, so it'll be more likely to actually go off there. Okay, I think that's fairly good. Now I just need to spin this again. It's almost at that corner. Looks like it's just about to go off. Spin it one more time and I think it will be off. So this is this corner I'm worried about. There we go. And then it's looking quite good. Okay, so this is what we have. The corners are covered. You can see the drips on the side. I think those sides are pretty well covered. We do have just a tiny amount of little bubbles coming back up again. So I will need to use that heat gun again. It looks like the corners are largely covered. We've got some beautiful effects coming in here through that use of the titanium and the pearl white. Uh, so we've got some lovely kind of blossom and glow coming from, from down here. So overall I think that worked quite well. And here is the final image. Uh, thanks very much everyone for watching.